On the third anniversary of her death, he goes to work as usual, making his way through the Hyde Park on his way to the office. But as he walks through the gates, he catches sight of her, a young woman, pale as the moon and as ghastly as the cold stars, lips a deep carmine red, a smile made of malice alone. He reaches the Winter Wonderland funfair, choking. He approaches the person checking the tickets and, as she raises her head, he sees that ethereal image once more. The sensation of pure terror runs through him as he sprints his way through the Oxford Street, and only as he gets as the anxiety starts to subside. As if teleported, he now finds himself in Hatton Gardens, the home of the most prestigious and reputable diamond and gemstone dealers in London. He continues walking, the chill getting to him. He finds himself in front of a supermarket, and a strong urge registers in his mind. Ice cream. He approaches the cash register, and her appearance confronts him once more. I really need some ice cream. Do you have any? There's no ice cream here, just some of the earth. Later on the street, he walks like a man possessed until suddenly he hears a faint voice calling him from the dark little hallway. Hey kid, you look like you're low on sugar. Thank you. How, how, how do I pay? I didn't accept cash. Oh. No. Oh. 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 But this is the only thing that made the last three years bearable. This is what made the last three years bearable. <laughs> Have you got any more of it? 